Lila Bell, you're being called. The Lila Bell. So ladies and gentlemen, we have two Delilahs, and this is the first of the evening. This is Delilah Bell. In March of 2010, we adopted Delilah Bell from Helping Hands Basket, Re Basket Rescue. We immediately fell in love with her sweet, even-tempered spirit, soulful brown eyes, and her nubby little tail. She eased into the family like she'd been a part of us her whole life. We found out her sad background from HHBR. So Lila came from a huge breeding farm west of San Antonio. A breeding mama all of her life, she was born in April 2002. It was 2010 when she was rescued from the breeder. She was a breeding mom for seven years. As far as we know, she had limited interaction with people. We don't know how many litters she had before she came to this rescue. We believe there were over 50 breeding dogs owned by this one breeder. This breeder was completely shut down in 2011 with over 30 facets removed. It took the concentrated effort of four animal welfare groups and rescues to get this particular breeder shut down, finally. We were told that Delilah lost a portion of her tail in a coyote trap that was set out in the yard where the dogs lived. She was taken from the breeders by the court and was given to the, the dogs and res rescue who then contacted us. Otherwise, she would have been euthanized by animal control, but she was such a sweetie that they begged her rescue to take her and save her life. When rescued, she was covered in fleas, but with heartworm negative, we were very surprised, she lived her whole life outside and in a kennel. Her ears were infected and her nails were really long. Her vet told us that her teeth are badly worn down from chewing on her cage that she was housed in. Her back is swayed from all the litter she carried and she now has arthritis. We are asked on a daily basis if she just has babies. This in part to her teeth that are hanging so low. Because of her sassiness, we have lovingly named her Teeth of Terror. <laughs> Delilah is loved and spoiled rotten every day. She shares her home with her Bassett sister from Rescue and three rock cats. She loves naps in the sun and sleeping in her wicker basket. She loves the dog park and tries to keep order there by letting the younger dogs know she will not be a part of their horseplay. We have been so blessed to have her in our lives and thank God every day that she chose us to be her family. So let's start the bidding for Delilah Bell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's face it, Delilah is the Frida Kahlo of adult painters. Let's start the bidding at $100. Can somebody give us $100 for this dog's artwork? $100. Anybody in the room will go $100 on this? Yes. This lady right here, thank, thank you very much. $120. Anybody do $120? $120. $120 for this piece of work right here. $120 for Delilah, the Frida Kahlo of dogs, $120, $120, we have $100 so far, this dog is feeling really bad because we've got $500 for the last one. Come on everybody. So come on, $120, a car. we got to get $120 bucks for this. So this is absolutely, don't make me do it. You'll do it, $120, Carol, please. All right, 150 now. 150. Can we do 150? Anybody do 150? $150 for the painting right here. Delilah's, uh, what shall we call it? Is there a name of this piece? It was, I Delilah's kaleidoscope. Lady laying down didn't want to paint. <laughs> this is called Lying in Wait. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yes. The orange hearts are from her boobies. Because because she's had so many litters. I mean they really they literally breed these dogs to death. I mean, you know, they, they don't stop. Um, and that's what it is for. I was just informed about that. Um, absolutely. Absolutely. Can we get hundred and fifty dollars on this thing? 150, 150. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. 175. Anybody do 175? 175. We have 150, 175. Somebody do 175. 175, 175. We have 150. I went at forty dollars. What do you want thirty dollars for? Twenty dollars. Big ten. Get the hell out of here. Time to learn how to do auction. 
175. Come on, we're 150. How about 2010, and we found out that she was from a puppy mill outside of San Antonio. She had been breeding for the first, her first seven years of life. Uh, she's 10 now, and, um, Go about the tail. Yeah, her, her <laughs> poor girl, she, she's had, we don't know how many litters she's had, but she's had a lot. Uh, she's, her back is swayed, and, um, she has very low hanging teats, <laughs> yeah. so her, her nickname is uh, Teats of Terror, that's what we call her. <laughs> and uh, her tail was cut off in a coyote trap that was set outside where she was housed with about, I think, 40 other dogs. She was in a cage. Um, her teeth uh, have been ground down really badly. Uh, the vet said it looked like she'd been chewing on uh, her cage for a very long time. How long have you had her? We've had her for like two, two years. Two, two, years. And two and a half years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's the love of our life. We have another one at the house too, but she's the puppy mama. So, right. yeah. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay.